Here's the great Volcker decline from the 70s down, and we've again gone below that long-term regression, testing recent lows. This is a very quarterly-like view from 60,000 uh, 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 feet chart. Are, are we going to sustain this great disinflation, or do you finally see a shift? to higher yields. We waited and waited and yeah, waited. Yeah, it's hard to know what's going on there. I mean, the, the bond market seems to have uh, taken up the belief of the Federal Reserve that, uh, you know, the baby boom generation saving that's driving down yields. Uh, European, Japanese yields are zero or negative, and that's driving money here to the U.S. Everything is pushing down Treasury yields, but I think it's really more Federal Reserve policy repressing those yields. I mean, the bond market really watches the Fed, listens to the Fed, will price what the Fed is doing. Whatever the Fed says, they'll do. So if we were to go into a recession, God forbid, uh, and the Fed cuts rates to zero, then 10 year Treasury yields are going to come down to three quarters or 1%. So uh, I think it's really the Fed in the driver's seat here. I, you know, a, a lot of what I feel is that the Fed should just put rates at normal and then get out of the picture, kind of like the old Milton Freeman, just keep pumping out the same amount of money supply. Don't try and oversteer the economy. Just set rates at normal at two and a half, three, three and a half percent, and get out of the way. That would be my preference. But um, yeah, I'm afraid Fed policy is going to try and lead. 10-year Treasury yields lower if the economy weakens severely in 2020. What do you make of this, this Lael Brainard idea? And I, I, actually, oh. I think it was first mentioned in the last minutes about curve control. Yeah, I don't, you know, I, I think Bernanke brought that up uh, several years ago. I mean, that would really come into play if the Treasury yields weren't doing what the Fed wanted, if Treasury yields weren't going down. But I think what they're mistaking here is they don't have to set a target. If they push the Fed funds rate down for policy reasons because of a weaker economy to 1% Fed funds rate from one and three quarter now, these yields are going to come down anyway. I mean, there's, there's no guesswork there. So I don't know that they really have to go out and fix those yields of what short term and medium term rates, as she said. I, I don't know if it's that necessary. But yeah, that really was a shot across the bow and concerned a lot of bond traders because they want to see yields move. Uh, they want to see volatility and they don't want the Fed to, to yep. quote, set rates.